Hi everybody, I'm going to do another video today on edges of canvas wraps. So what I wanted to go over is kind of how every image has its own kind of, you know, edge that's going to work better for it on canvas and for the wraps on the side. So typically what we want to do is we need two inches on every side for the wrap. So we use inch and a half stretcher bars so that other half brings us around the back edge and leaves it so there's nothing, you know, slacking or missing on the sides and it completely wraps around. So what we're going to do is kind of go over the different options and show you how it works. So I just got one of my paintings here, um, kind of show you how it affects you know different edges affect it so you know we have trees bottom of trees stuff like that you know sunset here that we want to stay in the image we don't want all this to be cut off so you know the typical route that people go is they pick image wrap thinking that their image can wrap around um that typically ends up being one of the worst choices because you do lose what you're actually seeing on the screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in here and show you kind of how the process works so sorry for the low quality this always shows a low sample image just for speed but it'll give you an idea so this is the first thing so you can see the grid lines here this is what you're gonna see on your canvas and right now I have it set to a 12 inch by 6 inch canvas so this is what you would see this is what goes to the wrap so you can see all of the image that is lost to doing an image wrap so that is typically the first choice. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through a different few other ones. So that's image. This is soft image. Um, anytime you see the soft, that's just kind of blurring it a little bit to make kind of a different effect. So next one is reflection. This is the one that everybody hears me talk about the most. This is doing the mirrored edges. Uh, you'll hear it called mirrored edge quite a bit. This program calls it reflection, but they're both the same thing. So this will actually mimic those two inches and carry it around so as you can see none of this front image has been lost to the wrap and everything will stay on the front of the canvas and once it's stretched that'll all still be on the front so so it'll take those parts mimic them over here to the side and give you extra canvas to put onto the side to give it the illusion of being image wrap really nice effect this is one of my favorites but sometimes that doesn't work let's say we have you know something here that we don't want showing on the side next thing you have is soft reflection this one works good if you have you know maybe an arm a foot toe something like that close to an edge this will just blur it out a little bit and does look really really nice on the edge of a canvas so this is another option next option of course is your color border so you have a white border black border or custom size or custom color so custom color we can just pick one of the colors in here with an eyedropper tool and that'll mimic it there so so once again go back black white soft reflection reflection or mirrored soft image and image wrap so this will kind of give you a little better idea how those work and how to tailor each edge and what you choose when ordering the canvases to each image and make sure that your image looks great and everything is working good. So uh, any questions, feel free to contact me and thanks for watching.